past two years, the mood in Davos was of pessimism and confusion and anxiety about the future of globalization and trade cooperation. Do you feel something's different this year? Well, we get, we're getting a balance vibe, let's say, let's, let's, let's put it that way. So we're not on the pessimistic side. I mean, if you talk to a lot of our partners and a lot of our uh, trading uh, partners and also with our market intelligence data you get, they, they anticipated uh, um, a recession within uh, 24 months. And that, that was two years ago. And we don't see a recession at the moment. I mean, uh, not in the, in the scale they're, they're, they're talking about. Uh, I'm, we're, we're glad that we have now the, the, the trade agreement between China and the U.S. Uh, I think that also will, will help a lot in terms of the cooling down the, 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 the mood in terms of trade. With all these countries and regions telling me that they all want to be the trade and logistics hub in the region, what's Oman's advantage? Our location is, is fantastic. We are on the east-west uh, shipping routes. Uh, we hit 17% growth rate uh, compared to normal average of global growth of 3%. So it's a, it's, a, it's a significant growth. And that's to do with the efficiency with our ease of doing business uh, practices. And now we want to uh, strike partnerships with our major partners uh, in China and, and, and other parts of the world. Tell us about ASEAN's role in Oman's ambition to become the major logistics hub in the region. Our ambition, of course, is to um, be the enabler of uh, all the major companies, uh, whether in China, or in uh, other parts of the world and connect them to the emerging growth markets. Uh, so uh, the last thing that, thing that major manufacturing companies or e-commerce companies like Jerry.com and others want to worry about is logistics. And so we come in, we, become, we are the enablers. We are the ones who take care of all end-to-end -end solutions.